coming up on T-minus three minutes. T-minus three minutes and counting. The engine gimbal, our movement check is underway to assure they're ready for flight control. T-minus two minutes, 52 seconds. The LOX valve on the external tank has been closed and pressurization has begun. After the tank is pressurized, the hold capability is limited to three minutes, 36 seconds. T-minus two minutes, 40 seconds and counting. The The fuel cell ground supply of oxygen and hydrogen has been terminated and the vehicle is using its onboard supply. T minus two minutes, 25 seconds and counting. T minus two minutes, 15 seconds. The pressure in the LOX tank is at flight pressure. Coming up on just two minutes away from launch. T minus two minutes marked and counting. The liquid hydrogen vent valve has been closed and flight pressurization is underway. T minus one minute, 50 seconds and counting. Chuck Hannon has just said smooth sailing baby to astronauts John Young and Bob Crippen. T minus one minute, 35 seconds and counting. T minus one minute, 20 seconds and counting. We can see the purges of the main engines uh, as we prepare for ignition. T minus one minute, 10 seconds and counting. Liquid hydrogen tank is at flight pressure. T minus one minute, mark and counting. The firing system for the sound suppression water will be armed in just a couple seconds from now. It has been armed. T minus 45 seconds and counting. T minus 40 seconds and counting. The development flight instrumentation recorders are on. T minus 35 seconds. We're just a few seconds away from switching to the redundant sense sequencer. T minus 27 seconds. We have gone for redundant set sequencer start. T minus 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15, 14, 13. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We've gone for main engine start. We have main engine start. shuttle and the shuttle has cleared the tower Columbia, Houston, your go throttle up. Roger, go throttle up. Roger, Columbia on the nice ride. You're lofting a little bit, so you'll probably be slightly high at staging. One minute, 45 seconds, coming up on go, no go. Columbia, you're in negative seats. Uh, 
Uh, that call up says uh, that uh, Columbia is the altitude is too high for ejection seat use. Mark. Columbia, your goal for SRB step. Two minutes, four seconds, standing by for SRB step confirmation. <laughs> Mark, uh, two minutes, 20 seconds, confirm solid rocket booster set. Mark, uh, two minutes, 30 seconds, on, gui on board guidance is converging his program. Columbia is now steering for his precise window in space for main engine cutoff. Mark, two minutes, 40 seconds, Columbia now 39 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 42 nautical miles downrange. Mark, uh, two minutes, uh, 50 seconds, Columbia. Columbia, you're looking a little hot. All your calls will be a little early. Okay. Columbia now has two engine rotor capabilities. Mark, three minutes. Young and Crippen really moving out now. Velocity now reading uh, 6,200 feet per second. Mark, uh, three minutes, 50 seconds, Columbia now 51 nautical miles in altitude, 66 nautical miles down range, velocity now reading 6,500 feet per second. It's being powered now by the liquid Mark, oxygen uh, three and minutes, hydrogen 30 in the external seconds, tank. Columbia now 55 nautical miles in altitude, 78 nautical miles down it's range. It's bringing that up at a very rapid rate because it's going to be through with that in about another five minutes, right? Mark, uh, three minutes, 40 seconds. Uh, standing by for a return to status check and mission control by flight Easy director Neil Hutchinson. Right Columbia given a green to continue. It's, uh, for those Mark, of us... Three minutes, 55 seconds, standing by for a press to Miko, which uh, says Columbia should lose one engine. Columbia, uh, press stand by, press to Miko. Columbia continues flying forward, coming up on Mark, negative return. For Miko. Roger, press that was Miko. a little early. That indicates uh, above normal engine performance. They're getting all the boost they need. Mark, uh, four minutes, eight. Was well, they doing Miko Columbia as the main engine cutoff is what they're talking about. That's there. right. That's Mark, right. Negative return. Okay, right, negative good. return means they can Mark, uh, four minutes, no longer five. come back and abort five seconds at, at Cape Town. So if something well, happened, the next thing would be Rota in Spain. And it would Kept have to, get to take two Stein, engines Columbia to get now committed to space travel. Young and Crippen can no longer turn around and return to the launch site. Columbia Houston, uh, we're showing both Ohm's PT transducers off scale high. Mark, uh, four minutes, uh, 45 seconds. The uh, flash evaporator is activated on board to cool Columbia. There's an enormous amount of heat generated there, and they've got an evaporator system that has worked well, and later they'll shoot the heat out into space. We'll talk about that later on. Why are the transducers off-scale high? I believe I heard John say in the cabin that they were off-scale low, which indicates it's probably a sensor problem due to that launch vibration. Those are the fuel tank pressures for the Mark, uh, orbital uh, maneuvering engines seconds. that they'll the use Columbia now 75 after nautical miles in altitude, uh, 202 nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading 11,000 feet per second. Uh, a status check and mission control by flight director Neil Hutchinson. Columbia Houston, your go at 5.30, Miko, 8 plus 3.4. Right on. Mark, uh, five minutes, uh, 40 seconds. That call up from Capcom Brandon okay, Stein says that Columbia is trajectory navigation and engine performance look good. Columbia reading you loud and clear. Okay, you're clear, a little weak. Mark, uh, five minutes, 55 and seconds. Columbia, we just switched over Bermuda. Boy, should be getting better here in a second. Uh, okay, no, that's good. Six That's minutes, uh, Columbia now 76 nautical miles in altitude, 280 nautical miles down range, velocity now reading 13,000 feet per second. And you'll be able to hear their voices from Bermuda before long, from the tracking station there. Columbia Houston, uh, could I have the cryo heaters, please? And Columbia, your single engine rota. Uh, <coughs> Mark, that six minutes and 25 seconds. Two engines seconds. and still... Land that at Rota. Call up from Capcom, Brandon Stein says but that a failure land. occurred. Columbia is capable of an emergency landing at Rota Naval Air Station, Spain. Mark, uh, six minutes, 40 seconds. Columbia pitching over now, di diving to increase velocity, decrease altitude, giving Columbia her most favorable attitude. 
Columbia now 72 nautical miles in altitude, 373 nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading uh, 16,400 feet per second. That's right on the money, isn't it, Joe? Right on the money. Yeah. And the, uh, the cutoff time within two seconds. Standing by for seconds a single of, engine uh, uh, press to Miko call up from Capcom Brandon Stein. So a perfect uh, launch and a perfect mission so far. So far, so good. Absolutely thrilling to see that thing go. Single engine, yeah. press for Miko. Okay, now they can lose March two engines and seconds. still get the orbit. The report orbit. says that Young and Crippen can achieve orbital insertion even if two engines go out. And in about one Mark, uh, minute, the main engine will cut seconds. off. Columbia, 67 nautical miles in altitude, 485 Very nautical miles. Very shortly, it'll range. start to G throttle back to prevent overstressing the aircraft as the fuel tanks get lighter and lighter. Ooh. 